Hey guys, today on this video we're going to add a background to this uh, animation. And we've, we've drawn the character in a separate video and we added some of the shadows and highlights in a separate video. You can, you can check those out. Um, but in this video we're going to add a background. And it's the same process as we did with the uh, character. Except maybe on this one, uh, I'm not going to add um, lines to the objects in the background. I'm just going to do it with fills. So starting right away, I'd like to add a uh, sketch layer. And I'm just going to call it background sketch. And I am going to add a, well, I'm going to sketch it out. And I like to sketch it out with not the solid fills, but the stroke and then turn off uh, vertex uh, paint so that I can start drawing with red again. Command Z and then I am going to do a foreground and then I am going to do a, maybe some some hills in the background uh, and then some more hills and then even some more hills right there. Uh, and and I'd like to do some um, shrubbery, some shrubs. Maybe I'll do one like right here, one big one, uh, one here. And, and this one and this one, two is enough. And then little ones little shrubs maybe one here uh, maybe one right here and then one right here one single one right there and then uh, in the background I'm gonna I'm gonna draw some uh, clouds Maybe another one here. And here. Uh, and then I'm going to draw maybe some, you know, some clouds that are like this. Uh, and then way in the background, peeking from behind the mountains, maybe there are some clouds. Way in the background. Like that. Uh, and then we're going to try to draw a, uh, a uh, tree. Just a big tree. with a lot of leaves. Maybe we'll move this this cloud since the tree's going to cover it up. We'll, maybe we'll move the cloud right there. And this one will move it right there. This tree is going to have a bunch of leaves this way and this way. So two layers of leaves. This one and then this one on top. Uh, so that's the plan. I'm going to hide uh, the character. lines and fills. I'm going to hide the character and then this sketch layer I am going to uh, just tone it down so that it's not so distracting and then create a new layer for the actual background sorry back background uh, call it background and then uh, move it below the sketch layer and we want to now move it below the sketch layer because once we start drawing um, the uh, the background is going to cover up the sketch so let's start drawing in um, solid stroke let's turn on vertex paint here and then let's pick a color for the for the sky way in the background um, and in this situation, don't worry about going over the uh, frame. There's our sky. 
let's do the clouds let's do the clouds we're gonna do the clouds in white uh, and we can add we can add Uh, we can add uh, shadows to the clouds and, and all that stuff, but um, I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm going to do another cloud right about here, and then that's it. Two clouds. Uh, we're going to draw these wisps of cloud um, using a lighter shade of, of blue. No, I think we use this one. Yep. We use that one for the sky, so it's got to be this one. like that and then another one since the tree is there I'm just gonna do another one real quick right about there uh, we got to do these clouds behind the first set of hills so I'm gonna do these clouds like this very simple uh, and then start drawing the hills the hills I like to keep them um, as you go further back the bluer they get but they're gonna be um, green but I'm just gonna start with this and then go from here uh, this way so I'm gonna draw these hills oops let's start over There's my set first set of uh, hills. My second set of hills could be this, this one. It's a little darker. And then this, the third set of hills could be this one. And then, and then the ground I'll I'll leave till later. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna draw a uh, one of these uh, uh, bushes. I'm gonna get pretty dark here. Uh, just remember that it's this color in the greens. This one. Um, I'm going to start drawing. A bush. And then I'm going to draw these little bushes. I'm going to, I'm going to go slightly um, uh, Command Z. Do, I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to do this one. And get an even um, brighter one I'll keep this one but I'll just make it brighter and then do this one and then this one cool and then let's uh, let's draw the tree let's uh, get a uh, a brown tan for the for the bark for the trunk tree trunk And then let's do, oh, I forgot to do this set of, uh, this set of uh, leaves. We're going to do this set of leaves the same color as this. And then, and then the tree. We're just keeping it very, very simple so that you can replicate this over and over and over with your animation. I'm going to pick a different uh, green, something a little lighter, and do the second set of leaves. I think this is the same green. Undo that, 
and pick this one. There we go. And then uh, what I'd like to do is even something even brighter than that, just to add uh, a little bit of highlights on that tree. That's it. Um, that's it. That's our highlight, except for the grass uh, way at the bottom. We'll pick this uh, dark green. Let's see if it's uh, darker. It is. And we're, let's, we need to cover all of the bottoms here, right there. Uh, and there's our background. If we uh, hide the sketch, there's a background. I mean, it's not bad. It's very, very simple, but it'll do for, for our animation. And there's our character, the lines, highlights, shadows, and fills. Oh, but one thing, we gotta, he's behind our background, so we gotta push this background all the way to the bottom. And there's our character. Now, we can lock the background and we can select our character with the uh, edit. We can select our character and move him around anywhere that he needs to be. And we can scale him if we need to. We can, you know, scale, scale him up or down. That's it. Uh, thank you. I'll see you in the next video.